Okay, this is just going to be a quick video on the Singer 3115 sewing machine, industrial sewing machine. It's set up with a wheel instead of a foot. This was used for leather work, like doing boot tops in a custom boot shop. Let me get you on the tripod and I'll show you it running. I was adjusting the check spring earlier and didn't realize the thread path was not even correct, but the machine still sews fine. Okay, I've got this set up with a uh, size 18 needle and a check 90 thread. Uh, this is a little bit thinner check 90. I really like it. It's a little bit stiff, but it's really tightly woven so it doesn't fray. And I've just got the machine set up on a uh, temporary table and motor here just for a demonstration and I'll show the table out in the garage here after I'm done running the machine. This is what would have been used for doing decorative boot tops because the fact that you can turn so tight with this wheel on here. will make a bigger stitch. You can adjust it. Alright, there you can see the... I better hold it here so it has a chance to focus. You can see how tightly you can do the stitches for decorative work on boot tops. This is kind of a crummy old piece of leather I had. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. And then you can see where I adjusted it to open up the stitches bigger. And it's a size 18 needle, a Tech 90 thread. I got this, I uh, can't remember the name of the company. It's in Texas, but it's uh, I like it. It's a little bit stiff and it's really tightly wound and that's what you want because that way the thread won't fray when the hook comes around to grab it. If you have a thread that's too loosely wound, uh, the hook can make it start to fray. You end up with a mess. So I'm going to go out in the garage and show you the, the uh, table. Alright, there's the original table. This machine, the serial number date code on it is 1949. Um, fixed up the finish on the tabletop a little bit, took the motor apart, took care of uh, cleaning the clutch pads, greasing the bearings, putting new grease in the, there's a grease pot that you need to fill and tighten up so it loads the motor with fresh grease. And very important to clean those leather pads off because that way the machine will come on nice and slowly. It won't just take off 100 miles an hour right away. And uh, there's a new, new cord end on it also. Alright, I might make another video later of the entire machine set up and running with the industrial motor. But I just wanted to get this one out there. Alright, that's it.